Hello everybody and welcome. Today we'll be reviewing a 49 inch Samsung Odyssey G93SC series OLED display. We've owned this display for just uh, the beginning of this month, so less than a month, but we've been having a great time with it. It's huge and it's the picture just looks amazing. I don't know if it, the YouTube video does it justice, but we really like it. And uh, <clears throat> also we, are, we have coupled it to our new PC build which if you wanted to see more details on the different components that are within the build, you can follow the link in the description below. It's another YouTube video going over the, all the components for the PC, not just the screen. And uh, finally, it's, I think it's uh, good to say that uh, we're using uh, Windows 11 Pro 64-bit operating system. And uh, all right, so some, some physical adjustments, right? So how, do, how do, can you move it up and down so you can do that? When you're doing that, make sure you grab it from the top and bottom. Don't grab the display. Go up, down. That's easily adjustable. You can also tilt it up and down. And then there's some wiggle room. You can go left and right as well to, uh, to balance it out. All right. So that's the physical adjustments. And as you can see, there's a lot of real estate, right? So you can put a lot of things on that screen. Uh, no issue at all. But just to show you here, uh, let's see this let's do that here Stations. timetables we can open up three windows for example and this is really nice about windows 11 you could go on the you can uh, use this so you go to the expand button on top of the screen and you select you want it to be on the left side and then whatever you want on the other windows you just click and click and now it's evenly distributing three different windows so here uh, we're going to zoom in later but here are the specifications for the screen this is just the back panel of the screen and this here is uh, just the timetable we're creating for this video as we're going along all right, uh, and so in addition, in addition to that, we can do a uh, wall mounting. It does come with a there's a wall mounting adapter here that you can use. Uh, and uh, you, you know, when you get it, you can uh, make sure that it's it's a 240 hertz display. So this is a very very fast refresh rate. It's a 0 0.03 milliseconds. Uh, so it's 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 super fast. You can play very uh, quick video games watch videos uh, uh, and without any blurring or anything like that so to do that so it's very very easy to minimize this you would right right click on the screen and now it's hard to see but there should be a button display settings so you click on that and the display settings shows up and again i'm going to put it in the middle so it's easier to see here and um, you would select the uh, advanced display it's under related settings and then here you can look at there's a, a, a choose a refresh rate you can do a 240 hertz refresh rate i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it so there it is so this is where the mouse is pointing you can click on that and adjust the refresh rate for the screen make sure it's 240 hertz utilize the full power of it hopefully your graphics card can support it but it's, it's pretty good all right zoom out a little bit again yeah so again we're very impressed with the screen uh and i'm glad we got it and it is not one of the this is like i said it's the g93 sc series it's not the smart one so it's a display uh, you can't uh, have apps on there like netflix and all that but if you have a pc you can always watch it using that way all right uh let's see what else now we're gonna the buttons and iOS, iOS inputs and outputs. So if you look at the back of the screen, so this is a picture of the back of this screen. You see there's a, <clears throat> a button over here that you can go and enter the menu and do different things. And we'll go on that in a little detail about that later. So you click this button to power on your, your uh, screen. And also you click this button once you've powered it on to go into a menu, which we'll show you later. And then the inputs and outputs, what we have here is a, a display port, an, H, an HDMI port, a micro HDMI port, port, 
this is the power 20 volt power supply it's a huge power supply it's a big like big brick but it's okay you can hide it under the desk uh, and then you have the three USB-C adapters once for your PC if you want to hook up your PC to this you can also and then one for service uh, so you can uh, if you are going to update this uh, software on the screen you could plug it into that with a USB 2.0 the, the rec recommend for the updates but it's a USB-C so it's a USB 3.0 so you can uh, use all these for the mouse or uh, uh, keyboard or other peripherals all right so that's the back of the screen and what inputs output you have and let's take a look at the menu overview I think that's really good to see and also there's an L LED in the back I don't know if you can see it shining but if you look at towards the back there's right now I have a white light shining we'll, I'll show you how to change that color and how to turn it off if you don't want to have it but for now what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna click that button that I just told you about this button right here to access the menu do that here and we'll go through all the different options so what you have here is a control panel you have the source you can change that if I click that I can choose whether or not I want the display port to be op operational HDMI 1 or HDMI 2 and HDMI 1 is the full HDMI HDMI 2 is the micro HDMI and up the exit I go left to exit that right, so click that again if you go down this is to turn off the PC now if you go up this is your menu and then if you go to the right, this is just a custom button that you can adjust. Right now it's the A-Saver mode if you wanted to go to there. Let's go to the menu. And at the top, you have a, a little summary of what you've chosen already for this uh, setup. But here you have a panel, which you have game, picture, PNI, PAD. So we're going to go through each one of these, look at the sub-menus underneath. So adaptive sync. Uh, so that's going to eliminate any screen clearing without the usual lag or latency and then you have low input lag that's on that minimizes input lag for fast reactions by reducing the video process time the black equalizer essentially that the smaller the number that you choose for this one uh, the let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it all right go all right so the smaller the number that you choose let's go back to that again i'm going to click the button i'm going to push up go into the menu by clicking then go to the game adaptive or look at that black equalizer again it will tell you a little description on the side of what you can do with that uh when you change it to something that's closer to one the backlight will be brighter then we also have the virtual aim point so if you click on that and let's say we activate it you can have different colors blue red white Let's do a white one there's a virtual display over here uh, uh target that you can use to adjust different things you can turn that on and off move it around anywhere on the screen uh but what i'll do is i'll take that off because we don't need it at this point so i'll turn that off you also have the infinity core lighting that's the back backlight in the back over here so in the back of the screen there's a light i'm going to zoom out so you can see how it changes as i change the settings you see right now it's shining uh, as a white backlight so now i'm going to adjust the that to let's say instead of, i can change it right now the light effect is static i can change the color let me change that color let's say we want it to be pink or or uh, green so it changes to any color you want that's the static option i'll say cancel we'll keep it white or you could have a lighting effect you could have a comet which essentially would shuffle different lights aurora aurora that's just stationary instead of rotating uh you can also have the rainbow and uh, breathing so breathing just turns on and off slowly with different colors and it's really interesting but i like to keep it static and just keep it white and then core sync if you turn that on if you're playing a video game that one will <clears throat> allow you to essentially uh, uh the, the 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 lighting were just based on the game uh, background that you're using so that's interesting all right so that's the lighting 
the last thing is the screen size you can select different screen sizes right now it's at wide but you can have different screen sizes if you like all right and then let's go look go to picture this is standard here we have bright uh, picture mode you can have eco movie so on brightness contrast sharpness color tint uh clear motion uh and then contrast enhancer and then this is a good option pip bpb so what you can do here is instead of having just a single input right now the input for me is the pc down below we could have multiple inputs you have one pc and another pc and be on the different side of the screen or you could have a blu-ray player on one side and you can have the pc on the other side and it's going to be uh uh working that way so you can have multiple inputs with this if you activate it and then you can adjust the location of the different screens and so on it's really it's really cool and then we have on screen display this is essentially this menu here what language you want to have and what display time so in 20 seconds this will just go away if you don't use it this menu will go away and for the system we have uh there's different uh color modes um so what you if you come here you'll see that you know it will turn if you wanted to look at different things, it might pop out better if you have different color modes on your screen. So I keep that on off. All right. So let's go back. And then energy saver, I have that on. Uh, it adjusts the brightness to keep it low. The volume is set at 50. Off timer plus. So timer plus. So I don't have. So if, if you click on that, I have equal timer. Uh, well, right now it's off, but this 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 will turn off your display if you're not using it. Then you have a PC or AV mode. So what you could do here is if you come here, you can individually select each input, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, or the display port to act as a PC or as an AV uh, input or output, or input in this case. All right? And then we have the display port. You can select a different version. So again, that display output, it can be 1.4 1.1 version. Same thing you can do for the uh, <clears throat> input port versions for probably the HDMIs. Yeah, select the HDMI versions here as well. You can tune it, but right now it's not operational, so it's not lit up. And auto sw source switch plus. This will essentially, if you plug in a new source that's giving a signal, it will automatically go to that new source. So let's say you plug into HDMI 2, a brand new source. Right now we're in the display port. So we'll start working on the HDMI 2. Uh, okay, and then <clears throat> we have support. You can do self diagnostics on the screen, software updates. There's some information about you know the part number, serial number, so on. You can also use this button to register your product, it will give you a, a Q code, QR code that you can scan so you can register it. And this will reset everything that you've changed on your product. All right. So that's the menu that you have. I think it's more than comprehensive for one. Again, it's not a smart monitor. It's uh, something that's going to display what you want it to display. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want to watch movies on this that are through a smart uh, apps and so on. Uh, yeah, depends on what you want. All right, so let's take a look at a game and we'll wrap it up. Uh, one of the games I played when I was in college was WoW, World of Warcraft. And it's been a while. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's amazing. I mean, I've never seen such a wide display. Never worked with one before, so it's a shock when you start using it for the first time. All right, let's take a look at it. Okay. <clears throat> so let me see if I can bring the game up. There we go. Oh, there it is. All right, so it's logging in. Yes. There we go. So this is just an example. If you, if you go to the settings, go to options, it's set to the in graphics, it's set to the highest setting. So you go, this is the base level, this is the 10 graphics so all the way up to maximum and this card is not even hiccuping it looks great on the screen uh and let me zoom in a little bit so 
can see it's wide. You can put a lot of different apps on, or add-ons to the side without impeding your view. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a great... Let's fly a little bit. All right. So you can see that everything. You can see the reflection in the water. You can see to the, all the way to the bottom. You can see the fish swimming in there. It's just a really nice screen and a great PC. So again, if you're interested about this PC build and you wanted to make one of your own, it's really simple. We'll be adding more and more videos as we go along on how to uh, connect everything and uh, put it together and reviewing the different components as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like it and uh, subscribe to this channel. And thank you for your time. So, see you soon.